Argonaut Weekly time. Rob Walden here with head women's soccer coach Joe Bartlinski. Tough week for women's soccer. They entered ranked number two in the nation, but suffered two tough losses, 3-1 to one to Rollins on Friday, and then 3-2 to two in overtime to Florida Southern on Sunday. And coach, you know, a 25-game uh, unbeaten streak, a 30-game home winning streak. Had to be kind of tough for you guys to take a couple of tough losses this weekend. Yeah, never going to be enjoyable, but we knew you know it was going to be a, a big learning curve with this new group and everything like that. Uh, to, to be able to battle and compete against the competition that we have, um, still pretty satisfied that uh, you know with, with the youngsters and how, how they are competing in this uh, you know during this little stretch. And just so people are aware, you're dealing with nine new starters, so a lot of new faces from a lot of different cultures, both globally and soccer cultures. Mm -hmm mixing together. How much do you think that's affected the team over the first four matches and dealing with a couple of, of tough results like you did this yeah. past weekend? Well, our schedule it was very difficult. We were playing some of the top six in the region, nationally ranked opponents and everything like that. So we knew it was going to be difficult in the beginning. Um, but you know, we know that we would always have uh, the target on us. And when teams come up, they are only concerned about West Florida and their second game is, uh, is uh, against an opponent they're not overly concerned with. So everybody's shooting for us. Sure. We, you know, we do not feel sorry for ourselves in this time. Uh, we have to rise up, but uh, just blending everything together. If we weren't getting opportunities on goal, you know, we're we're averaging about 20 shots a game, then I'd be uh, a bit more concerned, have a uh, a lot less hair. But we're getting we're getting our chances. We're getting 20 shots a game. And we just need to start to, uh, to look at finding the back of the net and not the outside of the net. In some ways, do you think the tough weekend can maybe be a positive for your team? You know, it's a different squad from last year, maybe different expectations. Do you think in some ways you can turn this into a positive to where, you know, you've already got that monkey off your back. You've already, you've lost the unbeaten streak. You've lost the home winning streak. Now you can just go out and play soccer? Well, I haven't known many of these streaks. I mean, right. that's up for you guys to know the streaks and everything like that and to remind our players, uh, but uh, we again really just looking at the next kind of game and and uh, just to be able to to start to blend and and take our opportunities is going to you know going to be where we need to go you know if it's going to be a great learning curve I'll, I'll let you know in about two months time if this has been a good thing for us. Jody Ann Robinson, the Canadian national mm -hmm. team member, you've paired her up with Shakira Duncan, mm -hmm. reigning national player of the year up top. How do you think those two have meshed together in the first four games? Pretty well, because we are getting opportunities. It's just going to be some fine tuning as time goes, and and combining other players in on that attack. Uh, we know they can play. They know they can play, and and again, just kind of. Uh, taking the opportunities when they come. I don't want them to feel the pressure of carrying things because we have other players that uh, uh, are creating chances and everything like that. So when we're when we're out shooting teams 18 to 6, you know, sure. we've got to do a little bit better on the, the, the finishing end and we've got to do a little bit, uh, have to be a little bit cleaner on the defensive end as well. St. Leo on Sunday, another tough test for <laughs> you guys. Uh, I know finishing is something that uh, obviously you guys want to improve on. What are a couple other things looking back at this weekend and looking ahead to the to the tough test on Sunday that you guys are going to have to fine tune? Well, on? again, this week trying to find, uh, trying to get make sure we know everyone's names on the on the team, and uh, and also just get them playing together. Uh, the chemistry has been fantastic. Still, you know, their heads are up, except when after the sprints, their heads are down. You know, so it's. Uh, it's a chance for them to kind of work together and continue to get to know each other this entire week. So that's Joe Bartlinski of women's soccer. Like we said, tough weekend for the women's soccer team, 0-2, but they've got St. Leo on Sunday trying to right the ship. And as always, you can follow the action right here at GoArgos.com.